Today I got an interesting package from the company which also produces these small oscilloscopes. So let's open it and look what's inside. An interesting device. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. Tweezers and a display. The display is detachable and it changes direction according how you have it in your hands. And this is important for me as a left-hander. I can read it. It should be able to measure everything which can be measured by this LCR meter. And of course, I will compare it with this one. For that, I have prepared a few SMDs, which are not easy to measure with a bench multimeter. And also one diode, a larger one, to show you that it's also possible to measure normal through-hole components. So let's start. I put it on automatic. Now the software is not completely stable. Sometimes it does not what I think it should do. So I'm in calibration. I close and I open. And now I can save the data. It has an automatic mode. Let's try the automatic mode. Now let's take the first one. It says 9.11 nanofarads. Nano 9.8 nanofarads. So it's quite close. Next one. This one seems to be an inductor. I do not know if you see it, 11.5 micro Henry. Let's check, 12.7 micro Henry. So it's also quite close. Next one should be a resistor, 62.1 ohms. 61.78, so very close. Now the last one is this one here, and you see what happens. It is a diode, an LED, and it has a forward voltage of 2.52 volts. Now I cannot measure this with uh, this device. I have to measure it with my multimeter. The multimeter does not show anything. It cannot measure high voltages of LEDs. It only can measure lower voltages. The LED we have to measure with an other tester. It's not easy. 2.87 volts. So here they disagree. 2.2 volts and 2.87 volts, 2.9 volts. But at least you can check if it works or not. So let's look at the data sheet. It can measure from 0 0.1 ohm to 2 mega ohm. That's okay from one picofarad, oh, that is very small, to 400 microfarad. So this is also a reasonable range. Maybe here it's a little bit low. Sometimes I have 1000 or 2000 microfarads and I cannot uh, measure this with these tweezers. Also inductance, one microhenry to 50 millihenry, okay. The voltage is from one millivolt to 40 volt, but there is one thing, maximum input voltage minus five to plus 50 volt and I'm not sure what happens because here is plus and here is minus. Now I assume if you mix it up with plus 30 volts or so and if you touch it the wrong way around then it might be destroyed. I do not want to check it but um, I'm not sure if it is protected. It has also a built-in frequency generator which can generate sine waves and uh, square waves. It's not easy to handle, for me at least. The device only has one button here where you can switch modes. 
or automatic and calibration and stuff like that. But I can imagine that if you want to change the frequency, for example, that's not easy. I did not find out how, uh, how to do that, but this is not a, a huge problem for me because um, this is more a speciality. I like the idea that I can go and check my SMDs without any problems. It's much easier than with these. If you put it on automatic, then it's quite comfortable. Now this is a inductor, this is a capacitor, and this is a resistor. I did also some other checks and these two agree quite a lot. There are some differences, but for sure not much more than the accuracy stated here on the data sheet. And I think also this is, I would not use this as a precision meter. It is more a comfortable thing. You can identify quickly your parts and even LEDs. Nice. Now this is a pre-production device. I even do not know the pricing for the moment, but I'm sure you will get this information later on. I leave you a link in the description. Now you can assume that it has a battery built in and the battery is somewhere here. So to charge it, you get this wire with a USB-C and if you are in a hurry, you still can continue to measure during charging. It automatically switches on and off. You just touch the tweezers and then it starts and after a while it switches off. So these tweezers will not replace this device plus the, multi the bench multimeter, but it for sure will make it much easier. I assume that I will not use this much more just for transistors and stuff like that, but for sure not for other components. This one will stay in the shelf much more because it's very comfortable. And this will have a place on the bench very close to my working area because I will use it all the time, I assume. This was just a short update about a cool gadget during my holidays. But I had to do it. Bye.